Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you on a Tuesday, the 29th, January 29th, 2019, with Jaspie's six box. Where will Bryce Harper and Manny Machado sign? Pick your team a mixer, including all of these fun boxes right here. We've got the Chrome Jumbo. All right, we've got High Tech, Pantheon. I gotta make sure I have everything. Pantheon, Optic Baseball, which is under the Chrome. And 2016 Tops Finest Baseball. So those five boxes in the mixer, the sixth box is what we're giving away. So if you read the item description right there, we're giving away this Fanatics uh, autographed baseball, which would be pretty cool. I and mean, we'll open that up live for the winner. So at the end of the break, we'll randomize everybody's names and then uh, see who wins that extra box. Let me set up the random.org here. All right. So here are the people that have a shot at it. In addition to whatever hits get popped out of here. Good luck, everybody. And Jeremy with that last spot mojo, Tampa Bay Rays. So good luck to him. Good luck to everybody, of course. All right, let's start with, where should we start? Should we? Let's go back in time a little bit to 2016, Topps Finest Baseball. Well, let's hear it, folks. <laughs> Where will Bryce Harper and Manny Machado sign? They didn't sign today, right? Did they sign in like the last, in like the 30 minutes I wasn't looking at baseball news? No. Royals extended uh, Whit Merrifield. I guess the Padres, we saw this news a little bit last week. We saw the Padres... We're in on, we're in on Manny Machado, which I thought was interesting. Ricky, you think the Braves will be in on who? Machado or Harper? Harper to the Braves. Be interesting. I think it seems like baseball owners are are looking for uh, are not looking to sign long term deals. Al, anyhaseo. Um, they're not looking to make sign like they don't want to sign like five, six, seven year contracts anymore, right? Well, no, they'll sign four or five year. They don't want to do like six, seven, eight, nine, ten year contracts. Josh Cruz says Phillies for Bryce Harper. Could be interesting. Oh, there's a redemption here to start things off. All right, there's Adrian Bell traded 250. We got Ichiro to 150. It's Marlins edition of Ichiro going to Austin. And behind franchise finest, Miguel Cabrera, you are due to receive a finest autograph of K E Kenta, Kenta Maeda. There you go. A little Dodger Joe Mojo on that Kenta Maeda. I know that it's it's expired, but Tops usually Usually we'll we'll hook you up with that Dodgers. That'll go to Joe Foster. Al saying Manny to the Yankees. Could be interesting. Yeah. 
And we've got Corey Dickerson for the Rockies. That'll be for Ryan Redmond and the Rocks. But I guess everyone's just holding out until... I guess everyone's just holding out until Manny Machado or, and or Bryce Harper. There he is. There's Bryce right there. Just settle for, you know, like a a two-year deal or another short-term deal so they can try to hit free agency again ASAP. Greg Bird to 50. Well, the Dodgers signed A.J. Pollock. Looks like the Dodgers are, are out of the running. Again, unless they unless they hold out and they're one of the teams that can get them get one of those guys for like a year or two, which I think is more the Dodgers' pace. Uh, let's go with let's stick with uh, tops here. Let's go tops Chrome baseball. No, Josh Pru says Manny Machado would have gone to the Yankees by now if he was going to go to the Yankees. Well, pitchers and catchers report. What, in, in a few weeks? And then everyone else reports maybe a week after that? So, kind of running out of time. At least until spring training. Although I think J.D. Martinez took through spring training before, before he signed, right? Well, they're going to go somewhere, folks. They're going to play baseball this year, somewhere. I just don't know where. I could see Mar Manny Machado or Harper going like one year deal, right? I think they do that, like a like a one or two year deal, but for a higher, uh, you know, for a higher average annual value, and then just opt out or just get out of a short term contract. All right, well, Didi Gregorius out for a chunk of time. Yankees could still be in play. It sounds like they're shifting gears to not wanting to give these massive contracts, too. they got a lot of young players coming up the ranks. There's Miguel Gomez for the San Francisco Baseball Giants. Giants owner, I uh, think Peter, right? Peter Maguan passed away recently. I know these are my rivals, but he's a pretty, uh, pretty great owner for for San Francisco for the Giants. There's Shohei Otani, nice purple. For the Angels, that'll go to Mary. 220 out of 2.99. And there's Dylan Peters. Dylan Peters autograph for the Marlins. That goes to Austin. There you go. Dilly Pickles and Dilly Picks. Interesting. That's his uh that's his uh social media handles. <laughs> go. All right, on this side. Aaron there's the other autograph, Tyler Wade. I think there's a, maybe one more. I don't know. I forgot how many are in here. There's Tyler Wade for the Yankees. Speaking of the Yankees, Mary with the Yankees. And he's just Tyler Wade. That's not very exciting. It's Glaber Day. And nice Scott Kingery. 
Scott Carey for the Phillies. Mary with the Phillies. I know, Patrick. It's been at that for a little while now. Scotty Jetpacks? Interesting. Uh, Chris Cleary saying Harper is going to go to the Mets. I, that seems somewhat unlikely, but I guess at this point, you never know. And there's Dustin Fowler autograph. That goes to the A's. That's also for Mary. I feel like Harper could just go, it just could end up with, just could end up going back to the Nationals. There it is. Dustin Fowler to 499, refractor autograph. And Machado may, may end up going to the Padres. He, he, what if he, he could go to the Padres for, for, you know, for a few years maybe? Or maybe the Padres do give him like a long term deal. It could be interesting. All right, let's get into some 2018 Donner's Optic Baseball. Surprised the Padres are in on that. I wonder if uh, I wonder if they think that their their team is closer closer than uh than other teams or fans may think. Closer to to blowing up like uh. You know, like the way the Braves did last year, the, like the way the Phillies kind of jumped out into the scene with their young crew this year. Padres need that. Uh, they need some starting pitching, though. Braves, yeah, someone else mentioned Braves earlier, too. Um, Chris, that could be interesting. Braves got, they've, they've got some money to spend, right? They've got a new ballpark. I think they've got a lot of younger guys on the team. No, like, albatross contracts. No contracts that are weighing them down. Bryce Harper's bat in, that, in the middle of that lineup could be pretty scary. Right, that's the thing. Machado would have to play third if they got him because, yeah, because I think Julio Urias, Julio Urias, Luis Urias, Julio Urias is on the Dodgers. Luis Urias is already, I, I think, already at second. And then, yeah, Fernando Tatis Jr. is coming up the ranks. All right, we got Aaron Judge. Probably there's possibly some sort of variation there. His teammate Miguel Andujar to 199. Francisco Lindor. Actually, these are variations, you can tell, because the baseball is colored in as opposed to ones that aren't colored in. Looks like I'm watching MLB tonight, and it says Padres and Reds are interested in trading for JT Real Muto. There's Mike Trout, Anthony Rizzo to 50. I think the Dodgers are kind of interested in Real Muto as well. There's Glaber Day, another one for the Yankees. And, wow, Willie Adams, three out of five for last spot mojo, Jeremy Miller. Our first train whistle of the day. Nice rated prospect on card autograph, three out of five. Jeremy Miller, last spot mojo as well. 
All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. And Brandon Woodruff as well is your other rated rookie autograph. Going to the Brew Crew. That'll be for Jared. 13 out of 50 on that one. Nice. All right. Slide these over. Actually, let me just sleeve these up right now. All right, we'll, we'll go high tech. We'll close out with Pantheon, and then we'll see who wins that autograph baseball. Also, is it kind of is it kind of weird to see Clayton Kershaw pitching to Buster Posey? A little bit. All right, good luck, everyone. We got Yadi or Molina, Yadi, Green Rainbow to ninety nine. We got Nolan Arenado, Orange. 20 out of 25 for the Rocks. There he is. There's Manny Machado. Where does he go? Out of 50. This one's going to go to go to Mary and the Orioles. And there's Twins edition of Brian Dozier. And that will go to Jeremy Miller and the Minnesota Twins. Nice. Your other autograph... For the Angels, Zach Cozart, 53 out of 99 on that one. Uh, that'll be for Mary and the Angels. Tom Glavin to 150 for the Bravos. And the rest... Be sure to check out CardboardConnection.com to look up these uh, different patterns. Some of them could be a little more short printed than some of the others. It's worth a look. All right. 2016 Pantheon Baseball. Good luck, everybody. Chris says Machado is going to the A's. Are you just are you just like just naming teams, Chris? Just arbitrarily? No, A's won't. A's aren't going to pay for Machado. I'd be shocked if they were. That that'd be a, that'd be a very big change in their their signing philosophies. Unless you get him for like a year. There's Juan Gon Gonzalez. Noble Timber is 9 out of 99. And that'll be for, that's Rangers edition going to Chad B. Part of the 1500 RBI club, Eddie Murray. Nice, 99 out of 199. That's for the Orioles going to Mary. Piece of Eddie Murray's lumber. Game used material. Arena acclaimed triple relic, Gary Sheffield. 12 out of 49. <laughs> right, yeah, there's probably a better chance of, of me getting signed by the A's, Chris. You're just naming teams? Well, that's kind of pointless, isn't it? 12 out of 49. Uh, Royals. Uh, Roger Bresnahan, Hall of Fame class of 1948, Immortals. All right, there you go. Uh, New York Giants, I think, right? The orange suggests suggests uh, Giants.
Right, he, he did play for the New York Baseball Giants from 1902 to 1908. Game used material. That's kind of crazy. All right, so that goes to Craig with the Giants. Nice. Jersey and Auto, Lee Smith. Didn't he just get into the Hall of Fame? 89 out of 149. Or no. Was he a a committee entry by the by the Veterans Committee? All right, that goes to the Cardinals. That'll be for Chris. 89 out of 149. Chris Countine. With that one. There you go, sir. Welcome back. We got Bert Campaners. Nice dual relic and on card autograph. 98 out of 99. Game worn material as well. And that goes to the Oakland A's, Mary with the A's. There's Ron Goodry. Got a great mustache. Dual relic and autograph for the Yankees. Is Ron Goodry part of the all-mustache team, ladies and gentlemen? Who else would be in this team? 23 out of 199 on that one, Mary. The Bronx Bombers. Dennis Eckersley, all-mustache team. And there's Jersey and Otto. The Big Hurt, Frank Thomas, 4 out of 10. And that goes to David Bruins and the White Sox. Nice. Nice, all right. Raleigh Fingers, definitely part of the all-mustache team. Carney Lansford, maybe? Part of the all-mustache team? All right, let's see who wins this autograph baseball. Chad down to Mary Lou. Let's randomize that. Two and a four, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. After six times, name on top. Five, four, three, two, and David Bruins, who just got the big hurt. Now you've got a big autograph baseball. All right, all right. Oh, Josh Pruess, that's right. How could I forget Keith Hernandez? He He's part of the all-mustache team. Did Catfish Hunter have a good mustache? I don't remember Catfish Hunter's mustache. Uh, Don, Donnie Baseball. Don Mattingly had a good mustache. Some great sideburns as well. All right, what do we got here? We've got... Oh, interesting. This is a premier level autograph baseball. Certificate of Authenticity by Steiner. Is this obvi too obvious right now? It's a little obvious, okay. He's got a nice autograph, but you can tell exactly who he is. Let's play Who Am I? Who Am I? This is a premier level autograph baseball by uh, from Fanatics. Who Am I? I played for the Yankees from 1968 to 1969. I batted 225. With nine career home runs and 58 runs batted in. I originally signed with the Dodgers, but was never able to make the Dodgers major league team. Uh, let's see. Uh, mostly at third base. 
Had bad knees, though. And I'm also a Hall of Famer. This is a, this is a good who am I. Um, I'm a manager. That's why I'm a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Not as a player. Definitely in the Hall of Fame as a manager. I'm a two-time World Series champion. This is interesting. Once a World Series champion in 1977... And then, again, in 1995. Why, do you, why did you win one with, in 1977? Huh, okay. It's according to Wikipedia. I'm a four-time manager of the year. 1985, 1991. I should give it 2004 and 2005. My number six is retired by this team, and I'm part of this team's Hall of Fame. I was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 2014 with 100% of the vote by the Expansion Era Committee. I'm originally from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I'm still alive. I'm 77 years old. I am old Braves manager Bobby Cox. There it is. Nice. You have all your authenticity stickers right here. Excellent. And you can look that up, MLB.com slash authentication and see uh, when that was signed. There you go. Nice. So David Bruins, congrats. You'll get this nice, uh, this nice wooden box too. There you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for breaking with us. And thanks for winning with us. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.